Bharti Rani is well known in her neighborhood. She stops and talks to other domestic workers who live nearby. Many are now friends, but some close their doors. She's too much of an activist, they say. She doesn't mind though. She wants to make sure that other young women and girls are never afraid, like she was once, to speak out against harassment. हम तो पास बैठ भी नहीं सकते हमसे इतना घिन्ना करते हैं हम सोफे पे नहीं बैठ सकते हम टेबल पे बैठ के नहीं खा सकते यहाँ तक कि हम उस प्लेट को भी नहीं खा सकते उसे साफ करने का हक है क्यों जिनके साथ हम बैठ ही नहीं सकते वो हम पे हाथ कैसे रख दिया कैसे रख दिया Bharti was only eight years old when she was sent to work for a rich family and to live with them without pay. It's a common arrangement in Indian cities, which activists say amounts to modern slavery. Harassment and abuse by employers is common too, and domestic workers often say they can't afford to speak out at the risk of losing their jobs. But Bharti stresses that it is better to lose a job with dignity than to suffer through one without. Nandita Bhatt heads a women's rights NGO. She points out that while Me Too testimonials occupied mostly digital spaces, she found similar reactions amongst Bharti and other domestic workers offline as well. They asked women to share their workplace harassment experiences through art and writing, and stitched it together on a sari, calling it Me Bhi, which means Me Too in Hindi. So when they displayed the piece the um, bhat recalls there was a stunned silence they didn't realize that you know there are others like them as well they thought that they were the only ones who had experienced sexual harassment at the world of work it got them to talk about it realize that what is happening to them is um, unfair and they can't speak and they're not alone bharti rani says this isn't just about her she wants to ensure that her daughter grows up watching her mother live with dignity knowing that she deserves it too jo main bolungi jo main sahungi wo to hota hai abhi bol dega dukh lagta hai mujhe main nahi chahti meri aulad sikhe meri aulad mujhse bhi achhi aur kamzor nahi bane strong bane meri aulad isliye main chahti hu mahilao utho apni awaaz uthao ab apne liye nahi apne bachcho ke liye karke jao unko to majboot ban ke jao Bharti says that she wants her daughter to be unafraid of the rich to have a big house herself a comfortable job she's confident her daughter can be just like them but a much much kinder person and across the border in Pakistan women have marched across the country to assert their rights on international women's day called locally as aurat march or women's march it's been an annual feature in the country for the past 3 years Women have taken to the streets to demand equality and a level playing field in a society notorious for its patriarchal mindset. In the past, these marches have drawn strong criticism from conservative elements in the country. And Binish Javed from DW Asia is in Islamabad and was at one of these nationwide marches. Binish, what are Pakistani women marching for? Uh, Pakistani women are mar marching for rights that some in many parts of the world would consider to be very fundamental and basic. They are asking for rights such as right to personal education, to be able to be to walk on the streets without being harassed, uh, the right to marry someone of their own will, um, and uh, these very they are asking they are on the streets with these very simple and basic rights. Um, uh, I've spoken to many women uh, here in the capital who are uh, marching, and they say that they uh, are. Staying against years of suppression and control and dominance uh, uh, of the society they believe that pakistan is a deeply patriarchal society and still um, pakistani women cannot enjoy enjoy the empowerment and the freedom that they deserve they're using very provocative uh, slogans very provocative um, and bold uh, uh, placards that show the hypocrisy of the society uh, they they say they're using a, a very pro, a controversial slogan mera jism meri marzi which means my body my choice uh, it was right. uh, uh, fiercely criticized last year also in the march they're also using the uh, the same slogan this year uh, which uh, uh, they believe uh, is their fundamental right they they give they are trying to give the message um, that uh, a, 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 a woman's body is is her right, right. Uh, whereas the conservatives and the yep But how much uh, does this march represent the aspirations of women across Pakistan? 
uh, Bidesh, I as a reporter have traveled to many villages in Pakistan, many small towns in Pakistan. I have lived in big cities and small cities. Uh, and there's a stark difference between uh, urban women and ruler women. Um, but like any other uh, movement in the world, uh, this movement is ta has started from the urban centers, from university students, from young women, full of activism. Um, and they believe uh, they are also speaking up for the rights of all women across Pakistan. I have read some manifestos. I have read a uh, charter of uh, demands of some of the chapters of the march, and they are, uh, clearly are asking for rights for everyone. And I do believe that the kind of momentum right. this march has gained uh, in the last couple of years, uh, it is uh, uh, the message is spreading across Pakistan. Pinis Javed from DW Asia, thank you so much for that. And of course, uh, International Women's Day this year comes in the middle of a raging global pandemic a pandemic that's impacted women disproportionately when compared to men, especially when it comes to access to employment and childcare, for instance. Now, we sought views from women across the region. I don't think that COVID has particularly impacted women briefly because uh, actually all the human race no matter they are men or women, uh, no matter what the country or race they are, they are all impacted by this greatly. Um, we are all equally vulnerable. Perhaps this is a moment uh, for us to learn and to cope a global pandemic like this better the next time. I think that 어 특히나 이제 비대면 사회로 급작스럽게 바뀌게 되면서 여러 가지 여러 가지 산업 형태가 변화하게 된것 같아요. 그래서 어 비대면 산업이 지금 많이 이렇게 떠오르고 있지만